Hi everybody, welcome to Mr. Digg's Deals. I'm Mr. Digg. I'm a part-time eBay reseller. Uh, welcome to my uh, charity shop pickups video. Um, sorry it's been a while, I've actually done a proper video, but I've had a few things going on in my personal life, which I will explain in another video. Uh, but without further ado, um, let me show you what I've picked up, what I paid for it, and what I hope to get, up for, uh, get for it. Sorry. Um, right, I'll pick, show you this one first. This is, uh, as you can possibly see, a Taz plate, um, and it's Staffordshire tableware. Now, when I first saw this, I think uh, they'd originally marked it up at a five pound for this, but as the weeks had gone on, uh, it had been reduced and reduced and reduced, and then I finally picked it up for a pound. Now, looking at soles and completes on this sort of stuff. Um, it does say Staffordshire wear on the label and it says Looney uh, on it um, there's not currently one like this I don't think on there but I could be wrong but might not have looked right but from what I did see there's only a Bugs Bunny one on, on there and they were asking about 14 quid so a pound and that's exactly what I'm going to aim for this one with is about 12 to 14 quid um, and for a pound, I thought, you know what, why not? I thought, I can't leave it behind. I've had my eye on it for a, for a while, and it's been reduced and reduced and reduced. So I thought I'd pick it up for a quid, uh, and let, let's see what happens with it, basically. Now, this next one is something that I didn't need to do any research on. It's something that I instantly fell for myself. And it is Disney, and it is a... Um, a pancake waffle maker now you know when you get one of them feelings where you look at something and think mm, I want that even without having to do any research this was just sat there and I paid 2 99 for this and my gut told me to pick it up without any research so I did, just picked it up and I thought I'll take it home see where it gets me uh, and believe it or not these little beauties tend to go for 20 to 25 pounds um, and basically it says Disney on the handle I don't know whether you're going to make that out or not um, whether you can make that out does say, does say Disney and it is and it is cast iron believe it or not and basically it's for making waffles uh, pancakes uh, and so, so yeah so I thought I'd just pick that up off the off chance and my gut was Right, uh, twenty to twenty-five pounds. So if you ever see one of them out in the out in the wilds, pick it up because they do sell. Uh, and, and I think the last one to sell of these went for twenty twenty odd quid, twenty-one pound or something like that. And I'm going to put mine on pretty high. I think I'm going to aim for about twenty-five pound on that, to be honest with you, because uh, they do sell at that price. So so yeah, make sure if you ever see one of these, you you pick them up. Now this is, well, this next thing's massive and it's a cup. As you can clearly see, it's, uh, it's, it's the Gruffalo. And it is um, a 2013 uh, make. And this thing is huge. It's more like a chamber pot, pardon the expression. It's about as big as my face. Um, and it is, is huge. And again, when I saw it, for one ninety nine, I thought, you know what? There's about my money in that, and I think I've got this currently on for nineteen ninety nine plus about two ninety five postage and packaging. But for one ninety nine, I couldn't leave that behind, could I? Really, you know? And it's quite a nice design as well, um, all the way round. So I thought I'd give that a go. Um. And the next one is it's quite a lot of seal media to be honest with you. It was three three DVDs for a quid. So I picked the best of a of a bunch up. Now this first one, everyone's classic favourite, Lady and the Tramp. Uh, and for about 35p each, uh, three for three for a pound, I weren't gonna leave it behind. And that one, I think by itself, it's diamond edition as well. So I think that one by itself goes for anything from six to six to eight quid by itself. 
Uh, if everybody knows uh, Lady and the Tramp, uh, and of course, again, another classic, 101 Dalmatians. The, the, the seal's a little bit tatty, but it is still sealed. Um, so I thought I'd pick that up for 35p. And again, that's about five to six quid by itself. Um, Alice's uh, Adventures in Wonderland. Now, this is the 1972 version with Michael Crawford. You know, the guy that plays Frank Spencer? Um, and I think this one goes for about three to four quid by itself. But for 35p, a listings filler. Some are cheap and cheerful. Uh, another more recent one, or another classic one, uh, in its sleeve, which, which is Avatar. Um, not a great deal of money in this, I don't think. Um, about four or four, three to four, five quid, something like that. I think I need to do a little bit more research on that. Uh, but it's a three um, extended collector's edition, three disc edition. Uh, collector's edition, so there might be a little bit of money in that. I didn't, I didn't properly do my research on that, but for, like I said, three for a quid. I thought, you know, why not? Um, another one that won quite a few awards a, a while ago, and that was La La Land in its sleeve, new and sealed. And surprisingly, because I thought you'd think because it won all them Oscars, uh, Academy Awards, sorry, and BAFTAs, you'd think this would be pretty a pretty sought after dvd but to be honest with you again it's only going to be like a bread and butter uh, sale it's only going to be worth about three to four quid uh, which is a little disappointing but again at 35p i thought why not uh, now this is a two two movie collection this is the the prince of persia and the sorcerer's apprentice new and sealed um so i thought i'd pick that up uh, and for a two film dvd for 35p i thought why not? Again, you're not looking at a great deal. A listings filler, a bread and butter sale, around three to four quid. And carrying on with the theme of DVDs and films, uh, I came across that, which is the first two Ghostbusters films. Sadly, that's not new and sealed, or they'd have been worth uh, quite a bit more. Um, and then it's in a green sleeve, and it's got the, the two DVDs inside. But then... I came across that the new well the newer version of the Ghostbusters with all the women now to me that's not really one of the best films that's ever been made but again with that one and this and wait for it along in a little um, soft toy basket was that it was good old Slimer so with the two, uh, with the three video uh, DVDs, one and two, and the new film, I feel a little bit of a bundle going on there, and I'm thinking around about fifteen, uh, fifteen quid mark, something like that. Uh, that was fifty p, uh, that was a pound, and that was fifty uh, p as well. So, like I say, put it together as a little bundle. I think I may have a, a, a brand new cup uh, amongst my stock somewhere. So I might put the cup with it, Ghostbusters as well. Uh, and just like I say, 15, 16 quid, something like that. So, and carrying on that theme, let me just put this down here. I came across Jurassic World uh, on its own possibly three to four quid but then in the same basket as i found slimer as luck would have it look what i found mr t-rex from um jurassic world as well so again another nice little bundle 50p for that uh, 50p for that a quid uh, so i probably uh, i haven't done the research on that on him but I'm guessing he'd be worth, worth about six to eight quid. And that by itself, with this, I should say, you're probably looking at another 12 to 14 quid bundle. Uh, possibly a bit less. But again, stuff like for 50p and, uh, and a pound and stuff like that for, for toys and DVDs really can't go too wrong. It's, it's a nice little uh, package for somebody that's uh, into, into the Jurassic World um, franchise. 
or Jurassic Park franchise. I might just see if I can try and find the other um, Jurassic Jurassic Park videos, DVD, sorry, with with these and, and bundle them up with it and make it a little bit more attractive to somebody out there. So, yeah, I was quite pleased to pick them up. Uh, what else have we got? Now, this, at first glance, everybody knows who this is. Or what this is, I should say. Uh, but looks can be deceiving. Um, yes, it's a TARDIS from Doctor Who, as everybody knows. Uh, but, inside, it is, if you, if you can see that, it, and then... When I press that little button, it does make the sound when it um, materialises and dematerialises as well. Wait for it. Drum roll. Honestly, it does make the the sound when it dematerialises and materialises. Um, while that's waiting to sort itself out, inside I also found just it does light up all the way around as well. Um, but inside, and for the price I paid, I don't think the thing the thought. They had these inside, but to go with it is that, that, and that. So that's Doctor Who. I think that's Captain Jack Harkness. I think, and I think that's Clara Oswald. Um, the young dark girl, I can't remember what her name is properly. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd pick them up. Um, and then I picked this bad boy up. This is a 6-in-1 Saturn Mind Sports computer. Now it's got chess on, it's got drafts, it's got four in a row. It's got grasshopper, whatever that is. I have checked it, and it's all complete and all there, and it does work. And I paid two ninety nine for that. And um, these sell for nineteen to twenty five pounds each, uh, pre owned. So let me just show you. Um, it's got all the little bits and pieces inside, draft pieces, chess pieces, so forth and so on. Um, and then. It's got the little electronic keyboard as well. And like I say, it has been checked. Um, so, and it's got the instructions inside as well. Um, so yeah, I was quite pleased to pick them up. Um, and that's it. Um, not, not a bad little haul, I don't think. I'm looking at some decent money returns for at least four or five items back. Um, so, so yeah, I was quite pleased to pick them up. So, thanks for watching, guys and girls. Much appreciated. Till the next time, hit the like button, subscribe if you're finding me for the first time. So, uh, without further ado, till next time, cheers, guys.